Olá, esta é a série Tecnologias Digitais para as Transmissões de Rádio, da trilha 7 Rádio, 7 Experience Academy. O tema deste módulo é a tecnologia de rádio digital DAB e o seu status de mercado. Para apresentar esse tema, convidamos Patrick Hannon, VP Corporate Development da Frontier Smart Technologies e presidente do World DAB. Neste episódio, Patrick Hannon apresentará uma visão geral da tecnologia e o status de mercado no mundo. Marco, obrigado thank you, thank you very muito pela introdução. Um, é um prazer real pleasure um, to have the opportunity to talk to an audience in Latin America. Uh, normally, my focus is in Europe uh, and a little bit in Africa and in Asia Pacific. Uh, so this is the first time I'm talking to an audience uh, in your part of the world. So um, it's a real, a real pleasure. Uh, so the title of my presentation is uh, DAV Plus, The Future of Radio. And um, I'll be covering three sections. Uh, first of all, uh, the global status of DAV Plus. Secondly, I'll talk a little bit about the technology, but mainly about its benefits. And then thirdly, I'll be talking about how to launch successfully. But I think probably the first place to start is the very simple question, what is DAB radio? Uh, so DAB radio stands for digital audio broadcasting, uh, and that's digital radio via terrestrial transmitters. So similar to FM, it's terrestrial transmitters. And services have been on air since uh, really the first services, the mid 1990s. So the, the, the technology is quite mature. And what's, what's the real benefit of DAB? Well, fundamentally, it's to do with efficiency. And the, si the simple point is this, you can get several radio stations on a single frequency. Uh, and with DAB, it's typically about 10 services uh, on, a single, uh, on a single frequency. And, and that's called, it's called a multiplex um, uh, that, they, that these services sit on, uh, similar to digital TV. Um, And then, of course, uh, the, the title of this presentation is DAB Plus, and DAB Plus is the upgraded version of DAB. And basically, that means that you can get about twice as many services. So, so typically, 18 services on a single frequency. And that efficiency is really what drives the benefits of digital. So uh, DAB Plus, um, that's really what we're focused on today. Um, and what you can see from this map is that DAB Plus is emerging as a global standard for radio. Uh, the, um, you can see in the top left-hand corner and the bottom right-hand corner, we have Europe and Australia. Um, so those are the sort of the core building blocks of DAB Plus. Um, but then we've got what you can see in the light blue is Turkey, North Africa, South Africa, Middle East, and various territories in, in the Asia Pacific region who are all running trials. So we're moving from a, really from a regional standard to a global standard. And of course, the question for Latin America is very simple. And that question is, is DAB Plus the right platform for us? So that's the question uh, that we're really trying to answer today. So let's talk about where we are today geographically. Uh, and what this map shows is that DAB Plus is established as the core future platform for radio in Europe. And it started uh, with four countries, UK, Norway, Denmark, and Switzerland. But then 2011, Germany launched. And that really was the, uh, the, uh, the starting point for you know, really become, becoming a European standard. Because Germany was followed by Netherlands in 2013, Italy in 2014, Slovenia in 16, and so on. And what, what you'll see is this dark, blue set of countries really through the heart of Europe. And that provides a backbone for digital radio, for DAB in Europe. And then we're getting expansion both to the West uh, in France and to the East uh, with countries such as uh, Sweden, Poland and the Czech Republic. So that's where we are today. Uh, and just to give you a few, a few headlines, um, First of all, in the major markets, we're seeing really strong progress. So in the UK today, 58% of all listening is digital. Uh, Germany, which launched in 2011, is launching a second national multiplex. So a second set, uh, 16 new services, which will be launching uh, in October 2020. 
In Italy, they've recently passed a law that requires all new receivers, uh, radio receivers, that both consumer receivers and automotive, they all must have DAB Plus. And that, that was from January 2020. And then Australia. Australia is interesting, and I think it's relevant for, for some of the South American countries because it's such a large territory. And so they started off with five, five cities uh, back in uh, 2009. And then they have, which cover about two thirds of the population. And then they've now started to expand. So they have three new cities in 2019. Uh, so really starting with the major cities and then expanding. And then we're seeing, as I mentioned, we're seeing new launches. So just in the last two years, we've had Belgium, Austria and Sweden have all launched uh, DAV, DAV services. And the big news uh, is that France will be launching national DAV Plus in 2021. It would have been this summer, uh, but because of COVID, it was delayed. Uh, uh, but we've got, um, France has got services in eight, eight cities already, uh, and then they'll be launching a national network uh, in July of next year. And whilst we've got all this launching activity, some of the most advanced countries are now beginning to switch off their FM signals. Uh, so Norway actually switched off its FM uh, in 2017, uh, and Switzerland is planning to be the next. Uh, so they're expecting uh, to start uh, switching off in 2022 and finishing that process in 2023. You don't have to switch off FM, but it's interesting if you make enough progress with, with DAB and with digital listening in general, then actually it becomes economically viable to switch off FM. And with all this progress, what we're seeing is that more and more new cars are coming with digital radio as standard. Um, so Norway, Switzerland, UK, Italy, over 90% of all new cars now come with DAB plus as standard. And you can see in other countries, Australia, Belgium, and so on, um, you know, over 50% uh, of their new cars come with digital, uh, come with DAB plus. And the other important thing is that receivers, consumer receivers are now a mass market. Um, and what, what's driven this? Really, it's economies of scale. Uh, so including both consumer and automotive, 90 million receivers have now been sold worldwide. And for consumer devices, that means you've got prices starting from $20, 20 US dollars. If we were having this conversation seven or eight years ago, you know, that would have been more like $40 or $50. So you know, it's significantly uh, more price, uh, uh, price competitive today. And then the other thing is that we, you really have, what I've focused on so far is individual countries. But what happened uh, at the end of 2018 is that the European Union started to take a really strong interest, an active interest in DAB+. And so they, they passed a directive that will require from the end of 2020, so the end of this year, all new car radios sold in the EU must be able to receive digital terrestrial radio. And that is going to be a complete transformation for DAB Plus in Europe. Essa apresentação continua no próximo episódio.